Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Feels so funny to be sitting here filming this video because I haven't filmed in months. Some of you may know, I had a baby girl three months ago. Her name is Indy, and I've just been soaking up every minute with her before coming back to filming regularly again. But I wanted to come back today and share my new mom makeup routine because it's very important to me that I share this for any other new moms out there that are just feeling different. Things have definitely changed. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, there's just a few products that I use to help make myself feel put together and look good enough to leave the house. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Also, a huge thank you to my friends at Avino for sponsoring today's video. So it's my first one back. Let's make it a good one. That might not look perfect, but we gotta move on. Time is of the essence, people. Indy is down for a nap. So the first product that I've been using to prep my face is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Sheer Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. I love this moisturizer because it's a moisturizer and SPF in one, which means you can eliminate one product, which means you save more time in the morning. I will take any little bit of extra time that I can get. I love how glowy it makes your skin look and it's super hydrating but it doesn't feel greasy on the skin it's a perfect amount of hydration for my combination skin it wears really nicely under makeup it doesn't break anything up and it just again just gives you the most glowy looking skin and it makes it look like you have good skin especially for those no makeup days which are quite often for me. It's supposed to improve the look of the tone, texture, dullness, blotchiness, and brown spots, which I have. Now, if I can only use two products in the morning, it's a moisturizer and then a brow pencil because brows are very important to me. I feel like they just frame the face. They make me feel more like myself. I will just fill them in with my IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. They only make one shade in this, it's taupe. It's a universally flattering shade. So that means that everyone is supposed to be able to use this. I would usually spend the most time on my brows back in the day. I still do. If there's anything I spend the most time on, it's my brows. But I will say that this pencil is pretty forgiving because it kinda, it does the trick, but it's not too harsh. Like that filled in my brow in seconds. I don't know if they're even, but uh, sisters, not twins. Am I right? All right, let's move on. I actually use one more brow product. It's from Maybelline. It's called the Brow Fast Sculpt Mascara Gel. I just use this over top to separate the hairs and kind of, it just gives them a comb through look, separates it really nicely and brings the hairs back to life because sometimes when you use a brow pencil, it just looks like one thick blob but if you use a brow gel it makes them look a little bit more natural and PC looking which I think is a nice look now this is how you know things have changed I am about to use a beauty blender that I did not clean beforehand I would never have done that in my videos before this but I don't even care right now I don't have time for blending on most days with a foundation. So I just go in with my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I love this concealer because it kind of feels like a hydrating foundation. It has really good coverage, but because I'm only using it in certain areas, I don't look too made up and I don't have to spend all day blending it out. So I just mostly focus it <laughs> underneath the eyes for the dark circles, which I don't even know if they're much worse because I've always had pretty dark under eye circles, but to me they feel worse. And because I'm just using a light layer, you can still see your skin underneath, which I think is a nice look. And it also still lets you see the glow underneath. So I just use a little bit on my forehead, chin, and look at that. I feel pretty good. I'm all evened out, took down that redness, and it still looks really natural looking, which for me is super important because when I do a little bit more of a full coverage, I find that I fuss more about it when I'm out, and I just don't got time for that anymore. Then I take some powder and I brush it all over my skin just to set that in place. And I'm using the Bite Beauty Powder. This is like a powder foundation. It's the Changemaker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in Medium. And it's also really natural looking too. Like it doesn't mattify the skin completely. 
so you can still see the glow with this too. Then I'll just stick with the same brush and I'll use some of my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Private Island. And I'll just hit the forehead with a little bit of this. It helps warm up my skin. It gives me a little bit of a sun-kissed look. And I just think it adds like a nice healthy finish to the skin so you don't look so flat. Sometimes I'll apply a little bit to my eyelids. Same brush, I'm going in with a powder blush. This is from Bare Minerals. It's called That Peach Though. And I just mix it in with a little bit of a powder highlighter. And I'll hit the apples of the cheeks and work back. Sometimes I'll use a um, cream blush, but I don't have a peach one that I like right now. So I just stick with a powder, but I add the highlighter so that it kind of looks like there was this shade that I used to use from Benefit back in the day. It's called Coralista. I just don't have that, but that used to be my jam. And it pretty much looked like this. Just take a peach blush, add a little bit of a highlighter to it, and you kind of get the same effect. And if I have a little extra time, I'll take that same highlighter, dab a little bit onto the center of the lids. Just so it doesn't look so flat up there. Maybe a little bit underneath my brow bone. And then mascara. I always curl my lashes up. Even if I don't use mascara, I'll do this so that my eyes just look more awake. And it really does the trick. Like, look at this. Am I right or am I right? Then I'll go in with some mascara. This is from Honest Beauty. It actually is double-ended. So mascara on one side, primer on the other. But most days I don't even have enough time or I just don't even want to take the risk of using the primer. So I'll just go right in with my mascara. I'm talking like I have the most impatient baby in the world. She's actually so patient. She's so sweet with me. It's just more so me. Like I'd rather take less time with my makeup and spend more time with her. And especially if we're going to be going out. Because babies are ticking time bombs, and you know you only have so much time to get stuff done, I'd rather just get out the door, check things off my list, and then hang out with Indy. Now for the reveal, my secret to really open bright eyes is let your mascara fully dry, take a lash curler, turn away if this freaks you out, and then, ta-da! Oh yeah, baby! Now for the lips, I just line them with a really natural lip liner. I'm still using the medium lip pencil from Kevin Aquan. I don't know how long you've been here, but I've been using this pencil for ages and it's so good. It's like the best natural lip pencil I've used to date. Just give them a quick line. And then I go in with the Honest Beauty Fruit Punch Tinted Lip Balm. Sometimes I'll use this, sometimes I'll just use regular old lip balm like my, it's in here, my EOS lip balm, but this is just a nice hint of color. Look at that. Kind of looks like my natural lip color, but just enhanced, which I think is perfect for this makeup look. And I just like it because it's not fussy. It's just literally a tinted lip balm, so you don't have to spend too much time perfecting it. And that's my new mom makeup routine. I hope you guys like this video. I hope that it was helpful for some of my other fellow new mothers out there. And if you just had a baby, congratulations. I hope you are doing well. And if the thought of makeup sounds overwhelming to you, I am just here to remind you, this is not an everyday thing for me. Again, this is only when I want to leave the house and feel Put together feel good about myself and also maybe just like when I want to take a photo with my baby and not be in sweatpants and have my eyebrows done and just feel good so don't stress if you don't want to do makeup maybe just start with a good skincare routine and call it a day I hope you guys are doing well again thank you so much to Avino for sponsoring this video and I will see you in the next one bye